Eagles, just to change the topic, played the Blues. You almost ended up at the Eagles. I think you had the flights booked. This is what happened in the West last night. Chris Judd played against his old side and, as we said, made it four from four. The Eagles can't beat him, Richo. Last night, important one for the Blues if they're going to play finals. Yeah, it was a very important game for the Blues, but it started off uh, all the Eagles. And this man here, Mark Lacroix, started off where he finished off with the 12 last week. That is just an amazing goal. That's a goal of the year contender. And this bloke's really playing well. And he did it again here, just getting it at 50. and drilling it and at this stage it looked like West Coast were the better team. Just before half time Yaron kicked his goal which kept the Blues in the hunt. That was a very very important goal and I reckon they went in at half time and Brett Ratton gave them a fair spray hammer because yep. they came out a different team. Their midfield got on top Mark Murphy was really good Juddy came into it. Simpson the runner there giving away a free kick I don't think the coach would have been too happy with that you can't have that happening and a pretty heavy clash there. The young strike had to go off the the ground on a stretcher but in the second half it was just a different Carlton team they obviously realized how important it was and Eddie Betts kicking the sealer there but uh, actually the West Coast only had 37 tackles which is a season low so I'd say John Warswell wouldn't be too happy with that the three things that I learned out of the game whatever Brett Ratton said at half time certainly work as the Blues were a different team Despite the loss, it was another step forward for the Eagles youngsters. They have got some good young players there. And Chris Judd mightn't read the papers, but he certainly responded to his critics last night. Curse of the Bambino with Chris Judd, isn't it? Uh, like Babe Ruth from uh, the Yankees to the Red Sox. Or the other way around. The West Coast yeah. just, can't get, just can't get near him since he's been this. He was Look at this. When's the last time we saw that? Well, that's he was the run sensational. And that's the run and yeah. carry that, of the Judd evolved. When he's running and bouncing and kicking goals through 50... He's in his best form, and he certainly uh, played well in the second half last night, Robbo. Plenty of report about Ashton Kutcher during the week, but uh, Ashton Hams was reported last night. Dennis Armfield, <laughs> he's in trouble. Look at this, look this. Boom. Oh. Yeah. I just can't have head-eye contact anymore, so I guess that'll uh, be looked at for sure. The argument is it might have hit him in the shoulder. He went past the ball, hit him in the shoulder. The problem is, poor, poor bugger, he's been chipped off to hospital with... Pins and needles in the, the, the neck. The question will always be asked, and we always get a phone. Did he have another option? Of course mm -hmm. he did. And it always, uh, if they ever deem that to be uh, that he did, then he's going to be in trouble.